Hey, what's up guys welcome to the fresh new video on python tutorials so today we are building a network scanner and for that we have to understand some um basics okay so now some okay first we have to understand this document so uh, you can uh, uh, read this document uh, uh, by downloading it from my um, drive first uh, understand it first understand this figure okay so uh, first we are sending ARP request uh, you can as you can see this in figure uh, to all devices so okay let's understand this as this device send who has 192.168.1.1 to all devices connected in the network uh, and after that so device 1 send the uh, send I am 192.168.1.1 uh, and my Mac is Mac address is blah 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 to the device so uh, okay the concept is uh, we are sending a packet to all the devices and um, receiving a packet consists of its ip address and mac address okay so to do so first we have to understand some basics of uh, for creating a network scanner so we have to understand some basic function uh, so the function first function is arp so this function defined in is a scappy model which allows us to create arp packets so uh, first we have to import scappy dot all as scappy then uh, you have to uh, create a, a arp request to and store it in a, a request variable so here we have a second function summary so this method provides us a status of the packet that we have created okay and then we'll print uh, uh, that request uh, dot uh, so, uh, using dot uh, summary so that uh, we can know about uh, the packet and another function is dot show which shows uh, more detail about the packet okay so let's try okay i have done it already i'll remove it okay so first we will import uh, scappy dot all as scappy so it is not uh, by default in python so we have to uh, install it um, for that we have you should go to command prompt and type pip install scappy i have done it already so i'll skip that uh, you can first you have to download uh, pip dot uh, you have to type pip dot install scappy in your command prompt uh, then uh, you will down, download scappy model uh, okay so uh, let's back in code okay so first uh, okay let's uh, okay first we have uh, we are creating a ARP request so scappy dot ARP and we are storing it in a request variable REQVST request variable so uh, after that we'll print uh, request dot summary okay let's see what happens okay here you can see arp who has the 0 .0 0.0.0 say 192.168.254.1 and for more detail you can uh, print uh, request dot so with some more detail about the packet okay so here you can see uh, the mac address is stored in swsrc and uh, ip is stored in pssrc okay so you can see here is function also uh, you can check out uh, the document the link is in description so here are some steps for creating a network scanner or you can see here is algorithm for creating a network scanner so first uh, create a ARP package using ARP method uh, okay so we have done it already we have created the ARP request using scappy.arp then set a network range using a variable okay now we have to set the network range okay uh, you can see I have uh, given a code uh, here so if you uh, didn't understand this code uh, you can uh, check out the another code which is more detailed and easier to understand um, and you can see here PS, uh, PDST is where the ARP packet should go uh, that means target and PSRC is the IP to update in the target ARP table and SWSRC is the sender hardware address and SWDST is a target hardware address so uh, we are creating a network range okay. 
let's set the algorithm first so we're gonna we're creating uh, the um, uh, uh, sorry uh, range of ip address so um, uh, create a range of IP address you have to understand uh, CIDR notation so if you uh, have some little knowledge about IPv4 and IPv6 address and subnetting subnet marks then obviously you have to uh, understand about uh, uh, CIDR notation so uh, okay so, uh, so I have to create a CIDR network range I request uh, dot uh, PDST okay because I have to check that okay PDST is where the ARP packets will go to target so we have to set the target with the range okay so for sending range first i have to check command i give config so my IP address is 254.1 that means one in this one that means 192.168.254 and is constant in my network then i have to scan the whole network from 1 to 254 okay so for that i have set the marks with 24 uh, because the default subnet marks has some uh, 24 or 20 bits okay 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 let's not go out of public so what is dot is uh it uh and uh, ip range from it will create ip range from uh 192.168.254.1 uh, to uh 192.168.254.1 okay uh, so we have set our target okay so now uh, uh create ethernet packet using ether method set the destination to broadcast using a variable as D, do, sorry as wdst so um, okay now we have to set the broadcast um, broadcast address equals to scap dot e t h r ether and i have to set broadcast dot u s w d s t equals to f f f uh, like, uh, if you know mac address then yeah you will understand this easily so to okay and what uh, okay so combine arp request packet and ethernet using slash okay so um, we, are, we are creating a packet by combining um, broadcast address and uh, ARP request so uh, packet equals to uh, okay request 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 slash um, broadcast bo o a r d broadcast so you can see here combine ARP packet request using packet and ethernet frame using slash so send this to your network and capture the response from the different devices and your hashtag is capy.srp so to send the packet we are using scappy.srp so okay we will store the receipt packet in client so scappy.srp and send packet uh, we will set the timeout uh, because um, we have to scan this in on august 3 second so and to remove the other information we'll use also equals to zero so okay i have to delete this one so now um, all the receipt package is stored in client okay and okay for uh, okay all the sent and receive packet is in client so for send from rece i mean received in client print formatting rece i will receive dot okay so psrc equals to one and ip so receive dot psrc and a plus will give a space 18 times mm, plus formatting and rec i will receive dot and mac is stored as wsrc so okay okay let's give a format also also we'll set ip plus 18 space plus a mac 
okay you are done creating a scanner okay let's run okay you can see our sniffing and sending packet is not available at the layer 2 win cap win pcap okay is not installed so you have to install yan cap so for that you have to you have you should have the installation file set of file of yan p cap so we'll install it in next tutorial and run our course successfully okay so this most for today